With the new version 4.3 of Profex that was just released, we can now search for structure files directly in the COD database. Hold on, hold on, no sorry, we can't run search match over the entire database. But we can search for structures, download the zip files and convert them to the Profex structure file format very easily. But we need to download the database, install it locally and set up Profex accordingly. That's what I want to show in this video. We need Profex version 4.3 or later and we can download it from the Profex website, from the download section. But here we also need to download the COD database. Uh, there's a, a compressed file, 219 megabyte at, at the moment. So we download this. Then we open the file and we find one database file inside. And this DB3 file we need to copy somewhere to our uh, documents folder, for example. That's all. Now we go to Profex and we select File, Import Structure File. And this is the normal uh, ZIF import dialog. But now if we go to Import File, we get a menu. We can either choose a local file and open the ZIF or XML file from the hard disk, the one that we downloaded before, or we can, this is new, we can now go to Retrieve from Database. This opens a new dialog, the COD structure retrieval. And when we open it for the first time, it says no database connected, select a valid database file. And to do that, we go to the second page database and we open the file we just downloaded and copy it to our documents folder, the COD file. Now it says connected. We go back to the search page and database connected. Here in this form, we can search the COD database, for example, for a mineral name, Corundum. And it will give us all the entries in the COD for Corundum. And of course, we can refine the search. We can limit the number of elements to a minimum number or maximum number. In case of Corundum, we want two elements. We can specify a list of elements we want to include. This is a space separated list, so like, like this. We could also enter a space group symbol and we could restrict the temperature at the time of measurement to room temperature or high or low temperature. We can choose room temperature. We could also search by reference. If we know the title of the publication, we have two fields for words to search in the title, or we can search for two authors, the journal, the volume, or we can restrict the year of publication. For example, if we only want data sets that are newer than, uh, let's say, 1980, we have a lot less. If we find what we're looking for, for example, here is a pretty recent uh, publication 2014. We want to download this and import in Profex. We just select it here and we click OK. It will be downloaded, converted to the Profex structure file format, validated. So it shows us the, the, the peaks and all we have to do it is save it in a structure file repository. For example, the default is always our personal repository. So I select this. It was saved here. I close this dialog. It will automatically index the new structure. And now I should have it here. I have to open some scan file. And if I search for Corundum, this is my new imported structure file. So again, we go to import structure file. We select Retrieve from Database. When I open it again, it's already uh, connected. It remembers this file. I can search for, let's say, Rutile. And let's just pick one or two. 
Now, if I continue my search for maybe appetite, the ones I checked, the root tiles will remain in this list. So they are still here and still checked. Now, appetites, there is a lot of different ones, chlor appetite, fluor appetite, hydroxy appetite. Let's filter only hydroxy appetites. So I want calcium, phosphorus, oxygen, and hydrogen, and I want to exclude fluorine and chlorine. Now I have only the hydroxy appetites. I can pick some and click OK. It will download all four of them, import, convert. I save them to my repository and when I close, they are indexed. Now I just have to reopen my project so it reads the files from the database again. And now I should have my root tiles, two of them here, and some appetites. I don't remember the names, they should also be here. That's it, very simple. I hope you enjoy it and I see you for the next video. Bye bye.